Now this, uh, this blog is going to be talking about the, uh, the new water quality BMP training facility that was developed by the Colorado Department of Transportation and uh, TerraLogic uh, team along with Wright Water Engineers uh, developed the, the training modules uh, and actually doing the actual training uh, for this particular facility. And so this blog is just going to walk you through, I think, as a state-of-the-art sort of training facility for uh, contractors and also for CDOT employees who have to work on construction sites and deal with erosion control and associated best management practices. This is the overall view of the, the training facility. Uh, this was uh, built uh, in, in 2014, the summer of it, and um, it has various areas for demonstration of uh, erosion control, um, erosion dynamics, prevention, uh, sediment transport. Really shows these things on a real high scale, uh, full scale um, approach. Well, the first area of the training facility is the, demonstra is the demonstration area. Uh, here's a plexiglass uh, flume that shows uh, examples of turbulent flow, uh, water velocity based upon various types of channel configurations. Uh, these, this over here is really related to demonstrations about pollutant uh, discharges into waters, uh, little mo scale models for erosion control, um, erosion related to uh, slope drains, uh, that type of erosion uh, prevention. Now this part of the facility deals with uh, demonstrations of uh, BMP treatment trains. Uh, and the effective uh, installation uh, of them uh, from uh, erosion control logs, check dams, silt fence, natural vegetation. Uh, the tanks in the back discharge water to really provide the, uh, a demonstration to the students of actually water flowing through the area and actually how the BMPs actually function. The other area over here are BMPs that were installed incorrectly. And again, running water through them, you can see the, the failure of how effective those BMPs are uh, based upon their, uh, their poor installation. Now this area is related to uh, erosion control on slopes. And uh, it has various types of slope stabilization techniques here. Um, the white pipes are really sprinkler heads to really uh, model a actual storm event. And there are erosion control blankets, uh, no erosion control blankets, uh, some vegetation type controls, and also um, sediment disruption or tracking uh, to basically try to reduce the amount of sediment being discharged off of the site. So anyway, this is a great uh, demonstration uh, to really show those principles for real development uh, and proper erosion control. Now this area here uh, shows uh, proper uh, installation of, of certain types of BMPs from erosion control logs to berms uh, to, to, to silt fence. And then over on the other side here are the ones that are really installed incorrectly. Uh, that are really common that you see on construction sites. Uh, so it really clues in the students about the proper way of orienting silt fences and also the uh, erosion control logs away from the toe of the slope. So this area here uh, really shows a slope stabilization uh, from using type of a straw mulch material with a tackifier. Uh, and then also blown in uh, sort of uh, mulch uh, material uh, again to stabilize uh, slopes during construction just prior to or to revegetation. This area demonstrates uh, the use of uh, of slope drains and uh, and being able to look at uh, outfall protection and dissipation of energy coming off 
uh, of a flow of water uh, that would be shown in a demonstration. And over on this site here is a very similar uh, sort of demonstration also. This is a demonstration area for a concrete washout um, area here that mimics that. Uh, there's an area that also is a demonstration area associated with kind of a staging area, uh, proper precautions that need to be taken for that. Uh, stockpile material, uh, erosion control requirements associated with stockpiles is demonstrated. And this area over here is really the testing area. It's the final field evaluation testing areas where students come in and look at various BMPs and evaluate which what is right and what is wrong in terms of their installation. And this is the uh, this is the lecture area. Uh, the class has about an hour and a half uh, lecture uh, before people are goes out, go out into the field uh, and looks at the demonstrations and, and various types of BMP applications. Uh, it's about uh, the discussion is about best management practices, stormwater management plan development, and also the fundamentals of erosion control and sediment transport and deposition. So I'll give you one more scan here of really what the facility looks like here. It's really, we think it's the state-of-the-art uh, training facility, uh, again, for CDOT employees and also for contractors. And uh, so we're very happy with uh, how it's been working, and we're actually measuring uh, the performance in the field in trying to do some sort of a metric associated with how effective this has been in terms of reducing uh, the number of uh, corrective actions in the field. So I hope you enjoyed the, the really quick tour and uh, thanks a lot for watching.